Hello and welcome to this CBT Nuggets micro nugget entitled Tim's Favorite Sys Internals Utilities. My name is Tim Warner. If there were one set of troubleshooting tools that I would suggest that you add to your USB thumb drive recovery toolkit, it would be several of the Sys Internals freeware utilities from the Microsoft website. A little bit of history on these awesome tools. They come from two computer science Windows internals geniuses named Mark Rusinovich and Bryce Cogswell. Mark actually works for Microsoft right now. Their company, Winternal Software, became Sysinternals and was ultimately purchased by Microsoft. Microsoft TechNet now hosts these freeware tools, which can be used for IT administration, system recovery, system maintenance, etc. They're fantastic. Of course, in this short micro nugget, I'm only going to show you a small handful. You definitely should spend time at the website. I'm going to give you the address in just a moment so you can perform your own research and testing. One of their tools this is a tool that they actually sold called ERD Commander 2005. It was a full-fledged Windows-type environment. It was based on Windows pre-installation environment, Windows PE. Enabled you to reset administrator passwords. You could get network support. You could do everything from outside a broken system. You'd boot off the ERD Commander CD and be able to perform that surgery. Now Microsoft has rebranded ERD Commander. It's called the Diagnostics and Recovery Tools, Dart Kit, and it's part of the Microsoft Desktop Optimization Pack for Software Assurance, MDOP. And if you are a Software Assurance customer, or by contrast, you're a customer of Windows Intune, then you qualify for MDOP. So if I don't have my own personal recovery thumb drive available and I'm helping someone out, maybe their computer is just slow beyond belief, maybe the user suspects that their system has been infected with malware, whatever the case may be, I'm going to hit live.sysinternals.com to get one-click direct download access to the suite of Sys Internals utilities. And that's what we're looking at right here. If we hit the About This Site text file, it gives a brief discussion of the site and it gives you a link to the public homepage here at technetmicrosoft.com. I'm going to browse to that page right now. And this is your homepage where you can read up, read the documentation on each of the Sys Internals tools, okay? Now let me do a demo so you can see how these things actually work. Now, if you haven't already done so, I would suggest that you modify the path environment variable on your Windows system to include the directory where you're storing your downloaded tools. On my systems, for instance, I create a folder off the root of C called Tools, and that's where I download my Sys Internals tools so I can call them from anywhere I am, from a run prompt or from a PowerShell or a command prompt. I don't have to be in the C tools directory because I've added this path to my path variable. Anyway, like I said, I'm gonna show you just my favorite tools here really quick. First, we have auto logon. And basically all this is, it's a shortcut to a registry key where you can configure, well, automatic logon to a system. Now you wouldn't wanna do this in a production environment, but for testing, development, and home use, it's awfully useful to be able to jump right in. Being a technical trainer, I make use of that all the time. Probably my favorite tool of all of the Sys Internals tools is Auto Runs. And what's so beautiful about Auto Runs is that it will leave absolutely nothing to the imagination with regard to what is running on your system, in particular on the Logon tab. This tells you exactly which processes are set up to start automatically. And of course, any malware worth its salt is going to place entries in, for instance, your run keys in your registry. Here you can deselect to prevent one of those from running. You can right click to actually delete it. You can jump to where the file exists in the file system, as you see here, the jump to image option. And you can also do a Google search directly from within here. Actually, Mark has intentionally engineered a lot of his Sys Internals tools so that they link together. Notice here that you can link to Process Explorer. And if you have Process Explorer installed, it'll bring up the tool and also the property sheet for that specific executable where you can learn everything there is to know about a particular process running on your system. In fact, let me resize this. My second favorite tool out of all the Sys Internals utilities is Process Explorer. Now this is Task Manager on some serious steroids. You can do sorts 
for instance, to look at how much memory and CPU is being consumed by processes. You can also show the processes as a tree where you can see parent and child relationships among processes. If you're wondering in terms of specific services running on your system, they tend to run under a balloon or umbrella process called service host. You notice just hovering your mouse over that, it tells you which services are running in that instance of service host. That can be very helpful for troubleshooting. Now again, this tool is linked to other sysinternals utilities like strings and streams. If you're a developer especially and you want to understand the lowest level anatomy and physiology of your applications and your processes, you'll definitely want to view them using Process Explorer. To come back to auto runs, another thing I like to do is check out what is bogging down my Internet Explorer browser. And as you see, I have a lot of cruft Office 2013 stuff that I don't necessarily want and can probably improve the performance of my system by disabling. Likewise, we can review scheduled tasks and have access to our service control manager. You'll notice here that by default in my services, the Windows entries are hidden. You can always adjust your visibility. Do you want to see system stuff, user stuff, or both? Here's a pro tip. You always want to launch these utilities as an administrator. So right click, run as administrator, so you'll have full access to what you can do within them. I'm just opening them here as a standard user. PS Info is pretty cool. I use it primarily to see my uptime. Now in Windows 7 we have System Info. That's just a built-in command line tool that'll give you uptime. Windows 8 does away with the command line System Info, at least as regards uptime. So PS Info is nice, if for no other reason, that it will tell you exactly how long your system has been up. What else do we have? We have Contig. When I work in an Outlook environment and I use PST files for offline email, those archives can become fragmented and slow down the performance of Outlook. I will periodically run Contig against my PST files to defragment those files. That's very useful. There's a lot more I can show you. BG Info is very, very cool for production systems, and there's a lot you can do here to customize it. You probably don't want all of this metadata, so you can come in and hack and slash and get rid of everything you want. You can actually delete it all and then specifically add in the fields that you want. And these are just starter fields. You can actually tap into the registry. You can tap into WMI. Do a, some selected Google or Bing searches on BG Info, and this will give you everything you ever wanted to know. Display it right on your screen as wallpaper, so when you're remotely connecting to headless machines, you'll know instantly what's what. We're running short on time, friends, so I'm going to wrap it up. I trust you're as excited about these sysinternals tools as I am. My aim is to inspire you into using them in your professional and personal lives. I hope that this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.